I'm ready. Can you tell us your name and what you do? I am uh, Deacon Mar Margaret Tetiver. I'm working at Tetiver. Um, tell us where you went to seminary and what was your experience in seminary? Um, I went on, on seminary on October 26. As I passed five years and one year out after the earthquake because there is some problem at the seminary and they have to send all the seminarians to the parish to work. Have chance to work with uh, the priest to learn from them and I have classes so at the university. I think it was a, a good experience and a difficult experience also because when I first got to seminary it was two girls and like seven or nine men and uh, we were the first young female seminarians live at the seminary um, and uh, we have to be very serious and very sturdy to, to attend our objective. Yes. So can you tell us um, how you decided that you were called to be a priest? Um, I think my call really appeared at the end of my secondary school. I grew up in, in church. My father is a lay leader, my mom, my grandmother. But I really feel that I want to become a priest when I was at the end of my secondary school. And I taught that to my... There is a, a bishop from Haiti. He's a, retired right now and very old. His name is uh, Bishop Rigal. And I speak with him and I said, I feel that I want to become a priest and he helped me. He was like my spiritual guide for this, this decision. Because my father doesn't think that I want to become a priest. <laughs> he always think that my brother, one of my brother will be a priest, but not me. And uh, when I told him that he, he was uh, very happy, and I write my letter to the Commission of Ministry on 2002, and uh, I get to seminar in 2006. Yeah. So, what is um, the position of the Episcopal Church in Haiti? How many um, churches are there, and how many Episcopalians are there? Um. We have like more than one in 50 churches in Haiti, <laughs> but I didn't have exactly the numbers of mm -hmm. the members that we have. But the Diocese of Haiti is the biggest Diocese of the Episcopal Church. We have a lot of members every year, and we have um, some new churches every year also. And uh, the, I think the, most of the church is happy to have female priests, but for me, the the big problem is the people who don't want female priests don't say that. Mm -hmm. They just keep the position is in silent, and you can't identify the people who, who are not in, agree with that. And, but I I have a chance to to make experience with different priests with different parishes. But I think all my experiences was good for me. I learned from the priest, I learned from the people, and uh, I try to make the people to accept me. I don't want, um, I didn't try to force them, but I just be myself and let them have a position and by um, examining my work, what I do, what I'm doing, uh, if I'm a good person, and it is our, uh, I, I think that yes. <laughs> so as a deacon, um, what are some of your normal responsibilities during a week? Mm, the work of the deacon, especially in Haiti, is to preach. Uh -huh. The first one and I preach like every Sunday. 
and uh, I do also pastoral care, like visiting the people who cannot come to church, bring communion to them, and um, I supervise, supervise some work, like I work with the women, and we have Bible study every Wednesday. Like, we call that Bible study, but we have a lot of different topics every week. If they want to know something, they ask and I just make research and explain them and talk with them about that and also have a special work at the school like I'm like a chaplain for the kids and also I teach Christian education. Yes. So what do you think are the strengths of the Episcopal Church? In Haiti? Mm -hmm. The strength of the Episcopal Church is the faith of the people. I think uh, Haitian are very faithful people. And uh, they really have faith and when they have faith they offer themselves for God to work for their ministry on church. Even they are Episcopalian or Catholic or anyway, they mm -hmm. they have they are really faithful people. Yeah. So what are the challenges for the church? Oh the challenge is uh, you know Haiti have some problems, economic problems and security, education and as a church, we face all those problems. And uh, we have to help the people to live, help the people to grow up on faith. And the church have to even to um, proclaim the gospel, but we have to accompany the people on the problem, social problem that they have, and it is the biggest challenge that the church has. You cannot say, oh, God is good, and the people cannot eat, cannot go to school, they didn't have security, and, you know, you have to take part on the social problems that the country have. So what social problems do you think um, need the most action right now? I think um, the first one is food for the people. The prices is getting more and more every, like every month or every three months, and the people cannot buy food for themselves. Like in Quarter Bouquet, you cannot, you can't see the problem as you see it at Koshi or Tomazo, but the people cannot find food every day or they cannot feed the kids. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm going to stop.